Well, good morning. I uh, got up early today and uh, I thought I would start getting the uh, 8350B ready for us to uh, take a look at. Now, they're actually really well made uh, and designed. So you can see the uh, main sweeper part or the main frame control part is in here. And then over here, let me move my Chemtex out of the road. Uh, over here we have the bay that the plug-in goes in and it slides in here and we have a hole at the rear uh, for access to the back of the plug-in and then obviously in front. And then this entire cover comes off which gives us access to the cards that are in uh, the plug-in. So what I was going to do was take the cover off, take the, the plug-in, get it ready uh, and drop the uh, ALC board uh, onto an extender so that we can get access to it and then start uh, testing it. Well, let me show you uh, what that looked like. So I'm going to take this guy and uh, move him out of the road. And here is the plug-in. We can see the front there. Um, if, we, if I slide this around, uh, you can see the YIG at the back in there, uh, detectors, DC check, the time base that's used. Uh, you can notice that uh, it looks like somebody's been in here because I think there's supposed to be a set screw. If you see right there, I think unless there is a, a screw uh, in there and there's supposed to be a cap screw or so on, uh, I can't tell. Hang on, let me take a, a quick look. Nope. So I think there's something concerning with that. But that wasn't the biggest issue that I found. Let me show you why I think we can declare the work on the 85, the 83522A uh, temporarily sus uh, suspended. So I took all the screws out already. Uh, this is no surprise to me, but I'm going to give you guys a second to work out if you can see what the problem is. So here we have the digital boards, the RF section, power, YIG, detectors, time base. Do you notice what the problem is? Yep, you're all absolutely correct. Let's go through the boards. It's the A2 display, I think it is, the A1, uh, or the A1, A2, A3. This is the digital board. This is A8, which is a sampler, A7, A6, A5, and the ALC board is A4, which is missing. And that would explain why we're getting that maximum power across that entire wave and why none of the leveling was working because when I was feeding external leveling in, it still goes to the ALC board. Well, that's gonna make it mighty hard for me to do a rest of a, a video uh, on repairing this. So I think I might have to uh, go have a look through the bag of spare parts that I have for various plugins and see if I have an A4 board. Uh, this particular serial number is a 2411, and so I already checked the A4 board uh, is a 60077 board. Uh, it should work with later revisions, but it may not work with earlier ones. Um, so I'll have a look at that. But for now, we can consider the problem fully diagnosed, uh, even if it wasn't solved. I hope you found uh, this uh, uh, interesting and uh, I'll chat to you guys later.